Bam! Well, well, you hung well. up on me last night. I did? Yeah. And then you didn't come home. Uh, I didn't? No. Well, where am I? You're at work, baby. Which I think is so sexy. You know, here I am telling you to speak your promotion into existence, and look at you. You're working late, you're making it happen. Huh. Okay, so look, I have to tell you something. So, me and my friend Cheryl went to go pick up her friend Mike in your car. And as soon as Mike saw me, he tried to get smooth and tried to hit on me. But I was like, um, I'm engaged. And he was like, to who? And I said, to Phil Way. And then he was like, oh, feel way to sell baby condoms. Correction, big boy condoms, okay? And that is when he told me that you work in a cubicle. I cannot marry someone who works in a cubicle, Phil. I mean, are they passing around promotions or something? You need to get one. Promotion, promotion, promotion. Speak it into existence. <laughs> I know that I'm not the only woman that you're sleeping with right now. As a matter of fact, you're damn near a nymphomaniac. And it just kills you to take one step out of this apartment. But that just means to me that you're not perfect. And, and I like you, Dello. I like you a lot. I'm gonna give you eggs in the morning. Mm -hmm. Over easy. <laughs> early morning meeting. I thought you liked me. Oh, he doesn't like I you. Don't call my do brother know. O. Because it seemed as though we was... We were. We were. We are. I just got an early morning meeting. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, look, you're not gonna walk me to my car? What if something happened to me? Nothing's gonna happen to you. Close the door on that bitch. Oh, oh damn Lose my number, you freak! I could at least walk her to a car. <laughs> 